All right, so today we're going to be taking a look at setting up one of these so-called blue pill development boards with the Arduino IDE. So to get started, you're going to need the development board itself, obviously, and the method that I'm going to show you today uses a USB to serial converter in order to set up the bootloader on this board. So on your USB to serial converter, first thing you're going to want to do is set the jumper to 3.3 volts instead of 5 volts because of course this is a 3.3 volt microcontroller and setting that to 5 volts will probably cause damage to this guy and we don't want that of course. And then what you're going to do is take the transmit pin or the TX pin on your USB to serial converter and that's going to be hooked up to pin A9 on the board here. So in this case, that's the green wire coming from my board. And the RX pin on the USB to serial converter is going to be hooked up to pin A10. So those two pins get hooked up right next to each other. Transmit and receive, A9 and A10. And then we're also going to connect the ground of the USB to serial converter to a ground pin on the board. We're gonna connect the VCC pin of the USB to serial converter to the 3.3 volt pin on the board. And the last thing we're gonna to need to do here is take this boot zero jumper and move it over into the one position. All right, so now with everything connected, we can go ahead and move to the computer. All right, so I'll put links in the description of these things, but you're gonna need this piece of software, this uh, STM flash loader demonstrator thing. And I do believe that this makes you put in an email address in order to get the software. Once you uh, go through this, yeah, you have to uh, log in or create an account in order to get that. But once you do that, you can download the software and that will allow you to flash the bootloader onto the STM chip. The only thing that you're going to need is the bootloader itself, and there are several of them on this GitHub page. The one that I'm going to use is this one, Generic Boot 20 PC13.bin. Now in order to determine which one of these bootloaders you need, you're gonna take a look at your board, and somewhere on there there should be an LED that has a label next to it and that label is which pin controls the LED but in this case it's PC 13 so what we want is the bootloader that ends in PC 13 so we're gonna go ahead and take that and we're going to download that bootloader <clears throat> and with the software installed and the bootloader downloaded we'll go ahead and plug in our uh, USB to serial converter you'll see we have the power light on on our board now and we can open up this flash loader demonstrator software. So you're gonna select whatever COM port that is your uh, USB to serial converter. Everything else here, you should be able to leave as is and you click on the next button. It should say target is readable. Click on next to proceed. And we're gonna click on next, of course. And this should automatically fill in. We shouldn't have to do anything here. So we can click on next again. And what we wanna do is download to device and we're gonna go download from file and we're gonna go find the file that we just downloaded. Now we may have to change our file type to uh, bin file because that's what we downloaded, binary file. So we're going to use the generic boot 20 pc13.bin. Open that up and click on next and this will go through its little procedure here. So it says download operation finished successfully, so we can go ahead and close out of that. And the last thing we're going to do is put this boot zero jumper from one back to zero. And now that we're done downloading the bootloader, we will no longer need the USB to serial converter. And if we now plug the USB cable into our blue pill board, the computer should be able to recognize it. Now in terms of setting this up with the Arduino, you're gonna to have to go into preferences. In the preferences of the Arduino IDE, you're going to have to add this link to the additional board manager URLs. And once that's done, you can go into tools and then board and then boards manager. And in the boards manager, if you scroll down, you'll want to install this one. All right, so now that we have the boards installed, we can go under tools and we're going to go to 
board and we are going to select the generic STM32 F103C series and then we're going to change this to 20k of RAM and 128k of flash. The upload method is going to be the STM32 Duino bootloader which is what we just installed on our board with that other piece of software. The CPU speed and this optimized thing can just be left as they are, which their defaults are 72 megahertz and smallest. And then the port is going to be whatever COM port it shows up. And with that bootloader that we're using, uh, it shows up as a Maple Mini, even though it's really not. If you go into File, Examples, and then go down into STM32 Examples, you can open up the uh, Blink example here, which I had to, I had to modify this Blink example for this board because it defaults to PA1 or something like that instead of PC13, which is what the, uh, the LED pin is on my board. But anyway, should be able to upload this now and the little PC13 LED on this board, which is right here, should start to blink. And there we go, we have the classic Blink Sketch running on an STM32 board. Alright, so that's about all there is to setting up one of these Blue Pill development boards. Hopefully you guys found that video useful. If you did, go ahead and click on that like button. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave those down below as well. And if you'd like to see more from this channel, you can also click on that subscribe button. That's it for now, guys. Bye.